Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick video here of our latest project here in Torrance, California. We're actually in a street called Reese Road in the city of Torrance. They call this uh, Christmas Tree Lane because this gets tons of, of lights. Thousands of people visit this every December. Uh, it's quite, become quite a thing. Anyway, we've got a landscape renovation that we've been uh, involved with here. We didn't plant this grass, but they did want to leave this here because they have like to have little picnics. So hey, a little grass is not a bad thing, um, especially if it's uh, the St. Augustine variety. It's a very drought tolerant grass. And if you notice, we have mostly native plants here. Here's the Erigeron, the a seaside daisy, California native, Pentstema, California native, Eucharas, California native, Salvia Cleveblandii, California native, Yarrow, California native. So this is really just mostly a native garden, but it's going to really pop come come springtime. We do do a California friendly this because uh, certain times of year this is going to get a lot of shade. This is called Cousin It. It's from Australia. So um, the other side over here, we have a lot of California friendly plants, meaning they're very drought tolerant. And then I should take note, one other super California native is a Cenothus. This particular one's called Skylark. It's about four or five feet tall. Tons of flowers on it. So it'll grow like a little purple tower here. Um, check out this amazing Zen waterfall. We did do some bromeliads on the side because it's going to have a lot of water. Those are up in the Amazon jungle, of course. So very unusual looking plants. There's another one. It looks like a zebra, like a zebra plant. What do you find plants like that? But uh, the homeowner requested a Zen garden, so we used this uh, Apoke Canyon, uh, kind of a gold tint with gray stone to it. Looks like it's uh, been here for millions of years, and it goes into a reservoir underneath these stones. You can actually step on that, so there's no mosquitoes. No rain, running, no sitting water. It's all moving. It's oxygenated for the pollinators. And we uh, made the uh, waterfalls in such a way that they actually have different uh, sounds to them. Um, that's a whole other video. And then the pump we used on this, um, going up the hill here. So as you sit in the rocking chair and you look out, that's your view. Uh, we use the Owasi. Uh, this is the Eco Classic 3600 gallon per hour pump. And check it out, it only uses 150 watts. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And I actually have it turned down right now. We put a restrictor valve on. So we actually have it turned down a little bit, but it can rage a lot more than that. But that's, that's the sound, that's the power of the 3600 gallon per hour. The reason I use the Iwasa is because they're not only low energy consumption, these things will go on for, I have some of the ground that have been in the ground almost 15 years. Amazing pumps, German technology. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Tomorrow we're gonna come back, we're gonna finish. You won't see any drip irrigation, we'll do another video. Um, but yeah, this is how drip is done correctly to natives. And we're just going to come back for the mulch tomorrow. Anyway, hope you enjoy this uh, Zen garden, Zen pollinator fountain, with surrounded by lots of native plants. Mike with Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.